Hey everybody, it's Steve. In a lot of my videos, I take a look at small and budget-friendly little stage lights like these. But recently, I got this new light from Sheds, and it's on a whole new level. In this video, I want to first unbox it, and then show how a larger, more professional light looks compared with its little rivals. Go through its functions, and then show you how it looks in action. And you'll see how just one of these can look pretty amazing at your next show or gig. compare this to a couple of typical budget fixtures, starting with this little mini beam. The first and most obvious thing about it is its size at almost twice the height and weight of this little guy. And to help lift and move it more easily, there are these handles on the base. Now let's take a look at the back. Every light I've ever had gets its power from an AC cord that plugs into a thing called an IEC jack. But more professional lights connect with something called a Nutric connector. And the power cord goes in and twists into this jack and locks, with the obvious advantage being that the cord doesn't disconnect if it's accidentally pulled. It also has a power out jack, which is a really nice feature because you can daisy chain power by plugging the power out of one light into the power in jack of a second. There's the standard DMX in and out jacks, as on all lights, large and small, and an on off switch. Another pro distinction is this panel mount fuse holder, so you can replace a blown fuse. On the back of this head, there's a large cooling fan, and there's two things to note comparing it to little lights like this. First of all, the fan is really quiet, and second, it's also temperature controlled, so its speed and duration depend on when the lamp reaches a certain temperature. And on the bottom has something called a quick lock bracket, so you can easily attach it to the bottom by twisting these thumb screws. Now it's when you'll really see a big step up from these little lights, when you look at the front control panel. Typically on these, you have a red digital display screen with some tiny menu control buttons below. But look at the LCD screen on this one, where you can page through these menu screens and adjust different parameters. And one other thing, all these lights communicate via DMX, but this light has a feature called RDM, which is a way to remotely control and configure it, although you do have to have an RDM compatible controller. Okay, so what does this particular light do? Well, first off, it's a gobo fixture that creates different colors and patterns by projecting the beam of its light through rotating gobos that can be controlled via DMX. It has a 100 watt LED that projects at a 16 degree angle. It also has a six prism wheel that adds additional effects, which you'll see in a minute. So let's take a look at each of the DMX channels. On channel one, you've got a master dimmer. On channel two, there's strobing effects. And with a 100 watt LED, the strobe is really bright. Then on channel three, We've got pan, on channel four, tilt. Channel five is pan and tilt speed. And now starting with channel six, we're gonna get into the different gobos. The first is the color wheel. So on this one, you can set eight different colors. And you can also set eight different split colors. And then in the higher values, you can control the rotation of the gobo wheel and the speed that it rotates. We'll go back to white. On channel 7, we're going to go to the first gobo wheel and look at its patterns. It has seven different patterns. 
And in the higher values, you can rotate the gobo wheel, speed and direction. You can also set the shake of each pattern. Then there's a second gobo wheel on channel eight. And now we're gonna jump ahead to channel 11, the focus. I'm gonna put this gobo wheel in focus. Here there are six different patterns that Sheds calls dynamic patterns. You'll see why they call them dynamic in just a minute. But similar to the previous wheel, you can adjust the rotation of the gobo wheel. Speed and direction, you can also adjust the shake. But let's go to an individual pattern. Let's pick uh, this one. When you go to channel nine, you can actually pick an exact orientation for the pattern and you can set a rotation speed and direction. Okay, so now let's go to the prism and that's on channel 10. When you bring this in, you'll see that six different lenses are rotating and you can control the speed of their rotation. And it gives you this effect. There's just all kinds of effects that you can create. Now let's do a quick little comparison from the big gobo compared to this little gobo light. You can see a real difference in the brightness and clarity of these patterns. Both of these have a few different auto mode functions as well as a sound active mode. The small gobo's got a color wheel and a gobo wheel with various shake effects. The large gobo has a color wheel, two different gobo wheels that can be combined and a prism wheel with effects. Small gobo is 30 watt LED. The large gobo is 100 watt LED. The small gobo has manual focus. The large gobo has DMX focus. Now here's a demo setup with this light about 20 feet from a small stage. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.